I'd probably give that to Andy that first round. Chris did get a takedown and landed inside control. Didn't do too much with it. And I think Andy landed the majority of strikes on the feet. And he's doing so again. Really working now. He's got that clinch and firing knees. Separates, throws punches in. Looks like he's really found his rhythm here. And Chris pulls Andy to the ground to try and, and, get, and get him onto the mat. I'm never a big advocate of pulling guard, but sometimes if you're getting beaten up on the feet and you need to get the fight to the ground and you can't do it any other way, you may have no option. Andy backing out the guard. Ex executing his game plan really well now, keeping his, his uh, striking barrage up. Really good with his distancing. Separates to just the right point to land the punches and the kicks. Comes straight back in again on the clinch to fire the knees. And Chris tried to take him down, went for the legs. Andy's pulled again. Now he's got the side control. Firing knees to the body. Gets in mountain position. He's got his legs straddled across the waist. Putting in big shots. Mount really is a bad position for Chris to be in. He can't put... Oh, armbar attempt coming up. Looks, that looks pretty, pretty good. I think we might get that submission there. Chris not tapping. Lots of guts. There he goes. His arm's going to be a bit sore tomorrow. Good fight from both guys. Andy a little bit sharper. A bit more uh, well-rounded.